With over 500,000 trees and shrubs already planted and growing, it's easy to forget you are in the city. We don't just say, we do. It's the Stain City Way. Hello and welcome to Real Talk with me, Anele, right here on SABC3, where the stage is yours. So with the gross inequalities in the country's socio-economic landscape, millions of disadvantaged, disabled, elderly and child-headed households rely on their monthly allowances from SASA to survive. In the past months, the agency are and the Minister of Social Development have come under fire for mismanagement and the uncertainty as to whether grants were going to be paid in May or not. The uncertainty was resolved as millions received their grants, but it seems the storm is far from over. Today on the couch, we have Vyoga Azifuchane, who is the SADC Basic Income Grant and Basic Needs Basket Project Coordinator. It's a mouthful. <laughs> under the Studies in Poverty and Inequality Institute, Wow, I wonder how long your business card is. <laughs> uh, later, we'll speak to Rendani Muraga, who receives a child grant for her and her child, and Homu Chotiseko, the SESA Media Relations Senior Manager. Let's get into it. There is a lot that we need to go through. First things first, you and I are serving here today. Hair, hi. hair, 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 hair. I, I need to talk about the basic grants, like there's mm -hmm. a basic incomes grant. Can you explain that to somebody who's never even heard about it? Um, so the campaign that I work on, the SADC Basic Income Grant campaign, is a campaign that calls for the rollout of a universal, unconditional, no means tested, accessible to everybody in the SADC region, basic income grant. That it was as long as your title. <laughs> <laughs> so essentially what it is, um, we're proposing that this basic income grant firstly be a minimum of 15 US dollars per month. Okay. So this would be a grant that would be accessible to everybody. There mm -hmm. is no means testing. So you don't have to prove that you're poor, you need the grant. It's accessible to everybody. It's universal. There are no strings attached to this grant. Okay. And so if you're making three million rand a year, you can still go and get it. You can still get the grant. So you, you, you are now relying on my conscience if whether or not I want um, it. Besides relying on people's conscience, yeah. there will also be, um, you know, the introduction of a wealth tax that okay. will then, you know, the money from the people who would be earning higher and don't, yeah. don't necessarily need the grant. So it's all going to be redirected back. You okay. know what I mean? So you guys are proposing that everybody must get $15 basic and I shouldn't be able to prove that I'm poor. I shouldn't be able to prove that I'm a child who's heading a household. I shouldn't be able to prove that I've got so many kids. That's just how much money I get. Now, is that a basic? So I, would, the, would I then be able to apply for a bit more than that if I need more? So um, with the concept of um, a universal basic income grant, right? Mm. So in other parts of the world, like Europe, that's taken off far more than it has now. Mm. So they have a basic income grant um, pilot in Canada. There's one in Finland. Um, the Swiss had a referendum last year on mm. the implementation of a basic income grant, which would be about um, 3.5 um, dollars per month. But mm. then the difference between their model and the model we're proposing is that because it's a minimum amount, it's meant to supplement the existing social oh, grants. Okay, okay, I see what you're saying. Now. Yeah, now so that's you. the difference between um, the European yeah. and the the global concept of a universal yeah. basic income grant and the, the one that we're proposing for the SADC region. But also now you're basing, um, you know, everything on first world countries. I mean, the Nordic regions like Finland, they mm. find, you know what I'm saying? Every, everybody you just mentioned to me, it, it seems like there wouldn't be so many people uh, who need this grant as opposed to us. I mean, 17 million people, in that's almost a third of the country um, are under grants. The thing is that I think it's relevant here more than it is there. even there. Okay. And so by referring to that, we can draw on lessons. If countries that are that advanced, that are that progressed, are still taking, are care, still of their taking own. care of social welfare, okay. when we are here, mm. what does that say about us? So thus far, the, the grants are not adequate enough mm. to support families and stuff like that. So there is a need 
um, for additional you know, mm. social protection mechanisms that will make sure that the poorest of the poor are not as destitute and vulnerable as they are currently now. Okay, so before I ask you the next question, which has to do with South Africa and the grant system and the mm. socioeconomic conditions, I want to know from you, who are you asking this from? So, um... Because you, you, it looks like you guys are, you've got the documents, <laughs> you're ready to go, you're ready to present, but who are you well, presenting um, to? It was Kwame Nkuruma who said that her soils are rich, yet um, the products from above and below the ground uh, enrich not, uh, don't enrich um, predominantly people. Africans, yes. but act to impoverish Africans, yeah. if anything. So we are proposing that this money come from a tax on extractives. So we're saying that the money is here and the money is um, from the, the revenue generated from the extractive industry. It's estimated that annually mm. we lose about 60 billion US dollars through illicit financial flows. So already the money that, that uh, people are getting taxed mm. in that, the 60 billion that we're not kind of ma managing properly. Yeah, so it's not the money that people are getting taxed, it's the revenue that's generated from the production of gold, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, so now okay. that money through okay. illicit financial flows okay. is being lost and it's not actually being taxed within our region, within the country. So there is revenue, but then there are not any policies that are mm. there to ensure that this money actually gets redistributed within Africa instead of being channeled out mm. through you know, tax havens mm. and all of that mm. stuff. So basically, you guys want to launch a criminal inquiry <laughs> into no, no. laundering of cash. <laughs> no, no, we want to hold those who, we want to hold multinational corporations accountable. Okay. The mining, there needs to be accountability, mm. there needs to be transparency, because um, mineral resources generate a lot of revenue for Africa. Mm. So what happens when all of the minerals have been mined out of Africa? Because these are not infinite resources. There will come a day when they're, they're, no, finished. they're finished. Yeah. And then what will be left is devastation of our environment, of you know, our socio-political and So is this climate, what your, 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 your company does? Is that what you guys do? You guys are proposing? <laughs> I'm fascinated. Um, I don't want to lie to you. Um, yeah, so um, it's one of the things that we do. So that's the specific campaign that I work on. Right the, now. Yeah, the static basic income grant campaign. So. And you, you, you believe, let's get to that socio-economic question now, and you believe that... Um, grants do contribute positively to the social and economic conditions of a country? I mean, definitely yes. Okay. I mean, without a doubt, that's a yes from me because um, when it comes to, you know, socioeconomic contribution, mm. for one, if there are 17 million South Africans who rely on the grant in order to be economic participants, mm. what happens when the grant is no longer there and then we take away the means for those people to contribute to the economy? Mm. Then that would have devastating effects on the economy in general mm. because those people, because that money is used to buy goods, mm. which is then redistributed in now the GDP itself. of the country. Exactly. Mm. So what happens when that is taken away? Mm. And in terms of, you know, the, so, so she, the social side of it, grants contribute to, you know, human capital development. Mm. So because of social grants, you know, mothers can be able to take care of things like child, um, you know, nannies and stuff like that while they go to work. Mm. So, oh, okay. you know, it, it, it contributes to better education. It contributes to be better health care, even in terms of nutrition, which is critical in terms of the cognitive, cognitive development of young children. Mm. So in the long term, it might not seem like it has immediate effects right now because it's just a small amount that's being given to them. Mm. But the long term effects... So what they, the little they can do yeah, with it yeah. goes a long way inside their household. Exactly. The yeah. investment, the, 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 the ability to increase their social wage, investment in their human development, and the, the potential to lift the next generation out of ah. poverty. Yeah. Okay, that's the line. Lift the next generation out of poverty. Please give me your company name again. I want to go Google them and just read up more tonight because I'm the fascinated. The Studies in Poverty and Inequality Institute. I know it's a long name. It's Paula very Zang. long. Bye. Uh, guys, <laughs> China, thank you so much. You were really quite insightful. Uh, before we go, don't forget that, well, before we go take a break, not go forever. It's still quite early for that. Don't forget to enter that home weekly competition by simply following the instructions on your screen. You could win yourself a 5,000 rands e-gift voucher. Do not delay because the competition closes midnight tomorrow and then I'll be announcing the winners on Friday. You don't enter, you don't win, then you're upset. Don't go away. We'll be right back.
And welcome back to Real Talk on SABC3. Today we're talking social grants and right now we welcome Rendani Muraga, a child support grant beneficiary. Later on in the show, I'll be chatting to Komuto Diseko, SASA Senior Manager Media Relations right now. Want to talk to these faceless people because we've been talking about it for months now. Oh, SASA this, CPS that. I want to talk to one of the people who actually benefit from it and she's here. Uh, Rendani, welcome to the show. Thank you. So how long have you been receiving grants? Oh my gosh, it's like 15 years right now. 15 years? Yes. Can I ask how old you are? I'm 33. 33. I look young. You look very young, you look like 23 <laughs> at best. Okay. So, do, so you've been receiving it since you were a child? Yes, I've been receiving since I was a child and then I get birth to my child and then I receive that also. So when you give birth to a child, does your stop or do they carry on giving you your one and then you can apply for your child? No, they carry they carry on until I was eighteen. Oh, okay. Because I was seventeen by then. Okay, yes. I understand you have a part time job. Every now and then, you you are able to work. Yes, I do. So does that not then put you out of the the you know a, a chance to get a grant for your child? Then if they're saying, but you 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 working, therefore you can afford to have your child. Yes, I'm working, but I don't think that can really really have to do with my waking because oh. i don't have a problem with the child grant support. oh okay so they will the sasa will pay your child grant until your child is 18 yes, as well until she's 18. Oh, okay so when you were a child and you were 15 and you start well you were younger and you started uh, getting the the social grant was it difficult did you apply who told you about it okay i heard it from the f the other family members uh. they advised me to do so uh -huh. Because before I get my grant support from uh, my child grant support, mm. I was have, having another uh, uh, that's for the orphanage because mm. we don't have pa parents. I've got two ladies like my sisters. Mm. Yeah, they are under me. I'm I'm like their beneficiary. Their beneficiary. Yes. So you were the child who was heading up yes. the household. Yes. So then, what was the process like? Wh which building did you go to? What forms did you have to fill out? Okay, it was very very easy. Really? Yes. Okay. So my neighborhood just advised me, you know what, girl, this is what you can do. Mm. You can just go to, to the social workers, mm. please explain your situation, tell them that you are the breadwinner, mm. you're still young, mm. you are a breadwinner, then at least they will help you. And then I went there uh -huh. to the social workers, I speak to them, they said, okay, you don't have parents. I said, yes, I don't have parents. They said, okay, can you give us uh, your death certificate for your parents? Yes. And I submitted the death uh, certificates. Certificate. And then it didn't take long. The same month, I started to get money for my two younger sisters because I was already getting grant. Okay. Yes. All right. And and then your two younger sisters, how old are they now? And now the other one is 28, and then that this other one is 26. And do they work? No, they are not working. Depending on this money. On, on, on the money, do they also have children? Yes, they also have children. Okay. So now let me ask a question. Somebody who's watching this. You know, they're like watching in their house and they work and they don't get grants and they're watching you. Your hair is nice, you look beautiful. Because there's a certain way poor people are supposed to look, right? You know, you're supposed to be destitute and, you know, not... not no, 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 no. Do you know no. I won't agree with and, you. And, that. But that's the thing. This is, this is the misconception that we have, people who, who just pay tax and we don't receive grants. We yes. think, okay, the, the people who are receiving these grants, they don't have anything, they don't have clothes, they, they have nothing argue that why you look good why you, why do you need a grant i look good yes i'm managing that money that grant <laughs> money because my child need it as well i also need it because yeah. i'm not getting enough i know the money won't be enough but i'm oh. not really getting enough to okay. support my child this is what's gonna be my next question how much do you get as a grant for your child that's 380 380 yes Ooh, is it enough uh actually i can't say so <laughs> yeah, I know you don't want to look ungrateful. Yes, you don't want to look ungrateful, but okay, if, without me, if I'm prying into your life, please yes. say, Anele, stop being nosy, move on yes. to the next question. Uh, 380, what do you do with it? Let's go through it. Okay, the 380 that I get, ne? Mm. I give my child a uh, five friend. Mm -hmm. She's a teenager now. Okay. I can't let her go to school without something to buy. Okay, yes. She's a teenager Five friends every day. Five friends every day. Okay. Ne? And then she's paying 180 rand for the transport to go to school. Do you understand me? She still needs lunchbox. She still needs textbooks. You know, she's... Uniform. Yeah, uniform, jerseys. Now it's hey. winter. 
like roll on roll on child. she's a teenager yeah. and i can't just say okay because i'm receiving this grant money then i'll use it myself because people out there they're saying oh look at this lady now she's lying mm. she's not working she doesn't get enough look at her look at her look at her look look at her weave she afford to buy to buy makeup because girl your weave is yeah. good like i've seen this is one of the best things i've yeah. seen she afford to buy she, she afford to buy makeup she afford to buy everything yeah. she's she look fine I, I can she need on twitter they're like ah she's yes. got a gold tooth guy yeah. there, there's that is no one who needs money and others on the other hand they will, they will be saying oh that one she's eating the child money's grant look at her uh, all the weave like do you really think 380 rand can buy this weave so and my basically look and using everything. it to assist you assist to run child. your household yes and my household as well since i'm a breadwinner you're a breadwinner yes. you are the one in charge yes. so earlier this year there was a lot of you know the, yo it was all over the papers and the social grad the social development minister uh, minister batavile zamini she was in the papers yes, I there saw was a company it. cps that the, they're not gonna pay your guys grants are they gonna pay them were you aware of what was going on and were you concerned that you were not gonna get your money yes i was really really concerned <laughs> because sometimes you know as a part-time worker mm -hmm. sometimes you know they don't pay us in time so if they don't pay me in time oh. how am i gonna pay my child's transport okay you see yes and then how am i gonna afford to give her at least that five friend for the something for the snack yeah. at school like you like know or, yeah, something. or something so how am i gonna afford that if mm. because i'm working yes but it's not it's a part-time job that i'm working mm. So that's why I'm saying that I'm really, really grateful about that money. It's really, really, it really, helps, really out. helps me out. And what's the communication between uh, Sasa and you guys? You know, are you sent SMSs to let you know, okay, your money is in? Or if, it, like now, when there was this big, big media problem, yes. were, were you being communicated to that, listen, guys, there might be a problem. You might not get your money. This might happen. Your money is coming a day later, a day earlier. What was the communication no, like? My love. Honestly, we never had an SMS. Like maybe somebody out there, but I never had an SMS. Like I was very, very concerned that, oh my God, this month I won't gonna get money. I'm not mm. even sure when I'm, I'm going to receive my, my payment mm. that side. So I don't know, I don't really know what I'm gonna do because that money, which, when it comes in, mm. I start with those basics, yes. like transport for my child. Yeah. And then the others, if something is short then, or maybe there's no meal mm. meal or something, then I start with that first. Then when my pays come in, then I page everything. Right? Then, then you go yes. on to like then things that we deem like, yeah, la luxuries. That, yes. All right. And has it always been 380? No, it's like it was 360. Oh, and then it yes. went up to 380. Then it, went, it went up to 380. And a lot of um, criticism that came through about the current system was that uh, you guys are charged for funeral plans, for insurances. They deduct a lot of money out of your money before you oh get it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What do you mean, oh my what gosh? A rumor. Is it a rumor? It's a rumor, Tali, because I, I, I've never been deducted any money from my social child, child grant. Never, ever. Then where did people never, get the story from? I don't know where are they getting them. So I don't know whether if they are receiving another child support grant from someone else. <laughs> I don't know. But <laughs> from Sasa, <laughs> the Sasa that I know, I'm receiving my money just like that. Just, it doesn't charge every, anything. Uh, no if, bank charges. No bank charges. Comes nothing. Even you. when you go to draw, you find it like that. You find it as 380. It's 380. So it's not Does like 375, 5 yeah, rand bank yeah, charge. Or like 370, then 10 rand was uh, yeah. f uh, bank fees or what. You can draw anywhere in the shops, at the bank. Simple. Like that. Okay, yes. uh, when we come back, I want to find out where you actually go and get your money because it's quite interesting. But luckily, after the break, we'll continue with our topic. If you have any questions and comments, tweet us using the details on the screen. Don't go anywhere. We're getting an official person from Sasa in studio after the break. Come back. And welcome back. You're still watching Real Talk with Anele right here on SABC3. South Africa's social system has expanded drastically since 1994, with nearly a third of South Africans receiving at least one social grant from the state. The largest of these social assistance schemes being Child Support Grant. We welcome Homo Jotiseko, the SASA Media Relations Senior Manager. And still on the couch, we're Nani Muraga, a Child Support Grant Beneficiary. And we're going to just further discuss this topic. First things first, I know someone is like, you're saying his name wrong. You're 
saying it's Khomuto. Your name is Khomuto. Khomuto, correct. Khomuto, okay. Yeah, just so I can cover very, very, myself. Very well. yes, so yes, people yes. don't think that I am the one here who needs to go and take a nap. Uh, let's talk about, uh, you know, the social grants. And you're from Sasa side. First things first, your complexion is good for somebody who's gone through so much turmoil in the last three months with the media saying this and you guys saying that. Mm -hmm. um, she says that no one is deducting money from their accounts, mm -hmm. uh, insurance stuff. Why was that reported? Mm -hmm. um, you know, when these things are reported, there's a generalization that, 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 that is made also, you know, uh -huh. as if these problems affect everybody. To date, we've received less than 95,000 complaints. Less than 95,000 complaints, and we we pay seven, over 17 million people. Mm. So it's a fraction of that if big you look number. At the ratio of the yeah, but yeah, the truth is that we, we do have that problem uh, from some unscrupulous service providers mm. who some of our beneficiaries go voluntarily to and say we're asking for a loan. Mm -hmm. They say sometimes we're asking for electricity uh, on credit or we asking for water on mm -hmm. credit, or um, 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 uh, cell phone airtime, or any other financial service, you know? Mm. So that's where the problem starts. Once those guys have got your number, by the t even after you have paid fully what you had owed them, there might still be consequences, you know? In the like, kind of like a garnishing order, right? Where they're just taking money from you without you even uh, knowing. Yes, yes, yes. That, that's how it happens. So we always advise our people never to use the Sasa cards to, uh, for purposes of, uh, you know, entering into contracts with service providers oh. who sell them uh, some silly financial services. So when you say you advise them, is, 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 it, is it you gently nudging them or are there rules that say, listen, this is for your basic needs, like she was saying, your water, your, you know, your school fees, your, this is for basic needs, mm -hmm. not for luxuries like airtime. Mm -hmm. We have an ongoing uh, beneficiary education campaign that we run. We go to the people, the real people, we go uh -huh. to them and address them in halls, uh, community halls, sometimes in the tribal authority areas, we go there. Uh, we also talk a lot in, uh, through the media. Uh -huh. uh, we go to schools, give children pamphlets to spread the word around as to how people should be, you know, playing responsible in terms of um, um, spending their, mm -hmm. their, their social grants. We put a lot of emphasis on that. And we also advise them on this issue of uh, uh, unscrupulous mm -hmm. service providers. We also advise them on that. Uh, but yeah, the problem is it's going away, but... Uh, Steadily so, you know, it's mm. not as fast as, as we, we expected because some of the people are in dire straits. Some people believe that their grant is not enough, so they supplement it with a loan, mm. you know, forgetting that they are making life even more difficult for themselves. A loan can never supplement a, a grant because the grant itself is not a, an income. Mm. Uh, I'm not sure whether... It's you, a subsidy. It's, it, yes, it's just an assistance to say, look, uh, take this money, use it for your basic needs. Mm. Okay. Then, then where do you go and, and, and get your money? At what point? Okay. I started, like, I'm um, born and bred in Venda. Mm. So I started there mm. before I came here in 2004. Mm. So when I came here, I, I did have a problem because I couldn't draw the money. Okay. Yes, I couldn't get hold of my grant money. How? And I went to Sasa yeah. here in Jobek. Then I went there and then speak to them. They said, okay, what we need to do, we just need to transfer you from that uh, where you're coming from mm. to this uh, region in Gauteng. Mm. Then from there, then you'll get your money. Then I, uh, they needed my ID and my child's birth certificate only. Mm. Then after that... Simple. Yeah. So w where do you go? Do you go to a, a shop? Do you go to a bank? Do you go to the post office? You mean when I need my money? When you need your money. On the day you're going to get your money. Where's the, the point? Okay. Like for me, it's very much easier like on the shops because they allow us to go shop right, check us, pick and pay okay. and get that money. Banks as well. So you know, month end mm. is a very long queue. So you can't stand there, like <laughs> seriously, you can't stand there. So it's a very long queue. So sometimes I went to the shops, yeah. sometimes I went to the bank. The bank. So it depends. So it's easy, it's yes. easy. There's, there's many points of withdrawal that you can go to if you're getting your grant. No, indeed, you've got multiple channels. Before 1994, people used to get their money from the pay points, mm. the long queues that she's talking about. Mm. But we intervened after the new government came in. And uh, at the moment, you can be able to get your money 
You can swipe for goods at the shop. Yeah. You can swipe for cashback at selected retailers. You can go to small uh, merchants and get your money. You can mm. go to an ATM. Mm. So there's multiple channels that people are using and they're very convenient for them. And are there, is, I'm going to ask rumors now, is there any truth to... Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. You've got to deal with that. You have to deal with yes. that. Now I want to talk rumors. Is there any truth to the fact that, I mean, I know uh, the post office has just been uh, given the go-ahead that they can become a bank, right? And... So are there any, is there any truth to that Sasa could move over and the grant system will be rolled out using the post office? Yes, the post office is going to be one of our payment channels. In fact, uh, before 2012, we were using the, the post office, mm. so it's not a new, it won't be a new thing. Mm. Uh, in terms of our plans going forward, we are going to use them. And, there's, and then also there's, then, there's no truth to, then, to the rumor that you guys want to take everything and run it in-house where you guys are doing everything, including the distribution. That's where we want to go finally. Why? That's where we want to go finally because we, we will... We, I mean, we've been talking here on the show about uh, the fact that, you know, the, the fiscus uh. is not, is not, does not have... It's, it's got finite fines, mm. funds. And uh, the cake is becoming smaller every every year. If you can look at uh, the budget speeches every year, true. We have to tighten our belts. <coughs> yeah. So it's part of tightening our belts. We want to do this thing ourselves. Mm. It's not an easy task, but uh, you are up to the task. We think we will manage that, and in the, as a result, we will be able to save a lot of money that we are paying to service providers. Mm. What annual review do you guys do to uh, to see that all 17 million people that you are giving grants? are still all needy of, of the grants. Randani will tell you, now and, now and again, <laughs> we do call them to our offices and say to them that, please show, come and see us to confirm whether your financial situation has changed uh -huh. or whether you are still alive or not. Uh -huh. Because we don't want to pay money to ghost beneficiaries. Uh -huh. um, and some people have got twins. We want to make sure that, you know, indeed they have twins. Some, some of them have triplets. And we've been defrauded uh -huh. in the past, you know, by a person with one child who registers the child three times uh -huh. with different names. Now, uh, three years down the line, they've got another set of triplets. So to deal with those, potential uh, threats, mm. we from time to time call our people to the offices uh, by registered mail. According to the law, we send them registered mail and then they come to the offices with the documents that she mentioned, mm. uh, uh, the certificate of the child, for instance, in the case of a child support grant and the ID. And uh, the affidavit. And an affidavit to yeah. say, this is where I stand financially. Mm. Three months bank statement, etc. So, So from time to time, we do run a check to say these people are they still the same people that applied? Oh, okay. So you just have like spot checks. Because I mean, to go through 17 million people, yes. you know, so yearly you just, go, you just check different people to see that yes. their financial standing yes, is still the same. Yes. And is there a number that people call and to, to, to get information? Maybe I think I deserve a grant. Like what's my first point of contact if I want to ring Sasa? No, indeed. Uh, people can contact us on, on uh, Facebook and Twitter. Okay. They can also contact us on 0800 6011. Uh -huh. They can also go physically to our offices. We've got offices all over the country. Uh -huh. Have you ever been checked to see if you are still... Yes, they, they stopped my grand day. I was furious. <laughs> I was very, very furious. I went to the ATM. I was like, yes, yes. <laughs> The card is not working. <laughs> what is I going on? Yeah. What is going on? Letter, proper, proper, proper. What is going on? Yeah, the government the is like, tumbles of oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I asked the other lady. She said, no, you know what? Go to the offices and find out what's happening there mm -hmm. because you sit here, sit here and not knowing that go what's going on and then you just say, oh my God, they stopped my grant money. Mm -hmm. No, man, you go to the office. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, they just want to make yes, sure that you're I still I went to the it. offices and by the offices, they told me to bring my child as well just to confirm if she's still alive, yeah. and I'm still alive as well. Then my copy of ID, her birth certificate, and the affidavit then continues. Yeah, all right. Uh, Rendani, thank you so much for joining us. You've really, like, like I said, it's like a faceless thing where you hear about these people getting grants, getting grants, and to sit and to talk to somebody who's getting it and to see that you're actually doing well with it, it's, it's, it's enlightening and it's nice. Thank you for giving us your time. Yeah. You are staying, you are going nowhere. After the break, we continue our discussion. And you can be part of the conversation by sending us your 20-second voice clips to our WhatsApp number that you see on the screen. We'll see you after this.
And we're back. We're getting straight back into our topic with Homo Jotisego from Sasa. So last week, the Minister of Social Development, Umamba Tabile Zamini, said that uh, you guys need about 6 billion rand for the next five years uh, to ensure that the social grant system, you know, carries on. And like uh, Rendani said to us, it basically cuts, you know, poverty so that the line of poverty does not carry on. Do so much money. Yeah, no, no. Um, the minister clarified this thing in parliament yesterday. Okay. She was appearing before Scopa, and she did mention the fact that it was an estimate, a rough estimate that she had made. Okay. Uh, but we are still going to go to Scopa and report about the details. They want the details. You've got line item. If you say 50 rand is for what? 20 rand is for what? And oh, this is the total. Okay. So we're still going to go back there and uh, give them a proper budget and say, this is what we, we are estimating that we're going to need. So when I think of the department, you know, social development, um, and, 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 and the way it works in, 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 in hand in hand with Sasa, surely you, you want the, the poverty lines to end, right? So is there a way in which there is an entrepreneurship, you know, like department to it? Because you don't want people to be destitute and to rely on you guys forever. Mm -hmm. Ideally, you want them to use their money to better themselves so that they can take themselves off welfare. Mm -hmm. is, is, is there a program in there that is <coughs> aimed at that? Those programs sit with uh, social development. There yeah. a number of programs like the ECBND program and so on, so on. I wish they were here to go into details about what they are doing because we are just on the um, operational side of paying grants. Mm. Do you know what the numbers are in terms of the 17 million people? Because um, I'd read somewhere that of the 17 million people who receive uh, grants, 12 million of them are children. That is correct. Is that is that correct? Yes, yes. The children children have got the highest uptake of grants, mm. followed by the old age grant, mm -hmm. followed by the disability grant, and then the others. So the old age grant for them, it's not as I mean, if you're 80, 85 years old and you're 60 on, and above, 60 and above, mm. it's not as easy as you for you to get up and go and get your money. Is there a system where there's you know? You know, like those library trucks that go around that mm -hmm. have books inside, or even mm -hmm. the ice cream truck? Mm -hmm. Is there a system where there can be a truck that makes its way into rurals to make sure that the elderly don't have to, say, go 60Ks or 100Ks that way to get their grant? I really wish you could do that. But, you know, we must also balance that with the levels of crime in the country. I was going to say, it's like, <laughs> the, the cash high schools are watching and they're like, yeah. Yeah, yeah do it like that. Innovation we like. Uh, but what happens in rural areas, we do have... Uh, People have got debit cards. The Sasa card is a debit card. Yes. And uh, if people are not able to go to cash points, they're able to appoint what we call procurators. Okay. Proxies in okay. simple terms. People who can, you know, shuttle between the home and the ATM or the shop mm. and bring the goods back to the older people. But what is good is that uh, our offices are within uh, five kilometers radius mm. from each and every beneficiary. That is our standard all over the country. Wow, yes. I didn't know yes. that. And in the case that we have, in the case we, where we don't have physical offices, yeah. we've got a mobile service that services each and every area, whether rural or urban. Okay. Yes. That's, so let's say I applied for a grant and I was denied. What are, one, what are one or two of the reasons why I would be denied for a social grant? It would be, many, it would be, one, of, it would be one of many reasons. Either... Like in the case of Randani, who was here, is a good example. She is working, but she's receiving a grant. People are surprised. How does that happen? Mm. Um, but you must remember that she's earning below the threshold. So you can only get a grant if you earn up to a certain amount of money. If you are above that, you don't qualify for a grant. Even Randani uh, uh, could have explained that perhaps uh, better because okay. from her own experience. But generally, according to our rules, that's how it, 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 it works. Another reason would be, for instance, in the case of uh, disability grant, that's why you have the biggest problems uh, because people, you know, go out of offices very angry sometimes. Uh, because what happens is that when you apply for a disability grant, you must go to a doctor, there are yes. what we call SASA doctors, who are paid by SASA who will then do an assessment on a person to determine the level of illness, you know, and whether they, they will qualify for a temporary disability grant or a permanent disability grant. Uh -huh. Now, if the recommendation from, from the physician who saw you says that... You can see. You are not as, <laughs> yes, you are not as, you know, disabled. See, you know, yes, see. yes, that type of thing. You know, then people get very angry with us. But they, there's also recourse. Mm. If your grant has been um, not approved, 
Mm. You, you it's within your rights to can appeal straight mm. to the Minister of Social Development. And the, the forms are available at every SASA office. Mm. They will also help you in terms of filling them in. Then you put in an appeal and say, I'm not happy with the decision of the officials mm. who were going through my application. Mm. Yes. So then when it comes to the security, because I've also, also considered this, because like you said, the levels of crime in our country are insane. When it comes to the security of me going to say, you know, get my 500 rand, around that area is the security for even the elderly who are taking their money to make sure that they don't get mugged at our cash pay points we do have security okay. we, we do have security guards uh. Uh, who ensure that the money is delivered safely and people are not uh, threatened in any way whatsoever oh perfect yes. and i, I want to go through the levels of grants so 380 what's the lowest you can get from the state from sasa and what's the highest one gets the lowest is actually the child support grant. Which is 380. Which is 380. That's why it's got so many people, uh, you know, it's about two thirds of our beneficiaries are on child support grants. Okay. Uh, and the highest you can get is over, so if you're over 75 and you're on a, on an old age grant. Yeah. Yeah, that's the highest that you can get. It's about 1,700. Uh, yes. And w when it comes to me applying for varsity and all of that stuff, does 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 it? Because I know there's varsity students who like to make jokes. Oh, I've got my Sasa card. I've got my Sasa card. You know, let's go party. Do you also cover varsity students under the Sasa grants scheme? We cover them only if they have not. They're not over eighteen. Oh, okay. Yeah. So eighteen years is a cutoff for for child support grant, oh. unless if it's a, a foster child grant. First a child grant, I think you can get up to 21. Okay. But at 18, you have to um, um, go to a social worker and fill in forms mm -hmm. that will be brought to Sasa to say, this person is over 18, but they're still in this uh, situation where they're in dire need of these funds. Mm. So we put in a sort of an extension up to 21. Do you not, because I mean, the most crit that the Sasa grants will get uh, will be from people who say, you know, do you not think that you're, you're creating a passive state of people who just don't want to work, don't want to get up and do anything? The only thing they want to do is go to the government and put their hands out like this. Mm. Yeah, they are, we've heard those comments. They're not very helpful. Of course uh, not. But we never sat on our, on, on our hands, you know, after hearing those things. We went out to research institutions and said, this is what some of the people are saying. Is it true? Mm. So there is research that has been done by credible authorities, for instance, institutions such as um, uh, the, the University of, of, of Johannesburg, mm. for instance, mm. and the HSRC, uh, the United Nations Institute that looks after children, the mm. UNICEF. Yeah, yes. They have done research, thorough research, which has disproved that myth that says that people, uh, you know, do not deserve these grants, they must go and work, and some people get babies because they want a grant. Yes, that's a it's very big true. one. Th eh? th those are just myths, and scientifically they've been proven that they're not, they don't exist. You see, the baby one, so to danger alone, I've learned two things. That the one about, you know, kids having kids, having babies, just so they can get an extra 380 in a month, and the one where uh, people like... They're taking money out of their accounts for insurance and for funeral policies because those things, I mean, they don't contribute to your initial life. All of this, yes, no, they it, don't. It's just lies. They don't. And in terms of insurance, really, um, the, the, the funeral insurance, people have got their own funeral insurances. They've got know? their own society. They've got their own societies that they contribute on a monthly basis. Yeah. Now, somebody comes to you and says, you know, you can use your Sasa card, uh, enter this. We've been said some some of that. Some of them go to the extent of saying that they're coming from Sasa. They've been sent by Sasa. Oh, fill in this oh, form. If you don't fill it, your grant next month, you won't get it. Uh, you know, The next month, you, you realize that, no, no, my, my grant is less than 150 or 105 friends. You know? mm. Then they go to those people. So, 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 so we're saying to people, you cannot die twice. Why do you need <laughs> two federal <laughs> insurance policies? You know? <laughs> the one that you have at home is, is, is sufficient. It's fine. This other money, use it for other needs. And it's so sad because these things are done to older people. Gullible people, yes, vulnerable people. Old age grants. And you know, with that 1,600, 1, mm. this person has got <coughs> stepchildren. This, this person has got grandchildren. Uh, this They've person is living after. He's got children who are not working. 
from that money, that money doesn't only, you know, go to them. Uh, and now imagine now if you then, on top of that, create a burden of unwanted, and, uh, and, you know, uh, funeral funeral plans, funeral policies, cell phone yes. so sad, yeah. I think that's the funniest thing I've heard today. You can't die twice. Why do you need two funeral policies? Time for a quick ad break. When we return, one more chat with Komocho from Sasa. It's interesting. It's enlightening, isn't it? Come back. And welcome back to the final stretch of the show on Real Talk, right here on SABC3, where we're talking about an issue of national importance, social grants. We've got Homocho in studio, who's from Sasa. Now, I hear that you guys give food parcels as well. Can you walk me through that, and who's getting food parcels? Mm -hmm. No, indeed, we do give uh, people food parcels. Um, food parcels, they, 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 they are given to people who are in dire straits people who are not receiving social grants. I'll yeah. make an example. Somebody has, does not have an ID. By the way, we also give you a social grant even if you don't have an ID, sure. as long as you qualify. Okay. So an ID for us is not an issue. Um, for the time you are still awaiting your ID and you have applied, we will also give you, we will give you in the meantime, not as, we won't give you a social grant and a card, we will mm. give you a food, food parcel. parcel, yes. So, so it's, a, it's a daily food parcel yeah. then? If there is a delay in terms of approving your grant, and the delay is because of us, for instance, we will give you a, a, a food parcel to can supplement, uh, and supplement you and ensure that at least you have something to put on the table. So, w for instance, a homeless person, right? Uh, the people who are standing on the robots begging, do they get food parcels from you guys? There's, there's criteria that have got some of them, some of them, uh, but there's a criteria that they've We've got to go through. Like, um, um, what criteria can a homeless person go through? For instance, if a breadwinner dies, okay, the breadwinner dies, mm. um, and then you find that a child becomes the breadwinner, oh. and that child is looking after other children. Uh -huh. You know, for some reason, those children are not on a social grant. Okay. You can get a, a social grant, but I mean a, a food parcel. But food parcels are not for everybody, and they are not. Uh, they, they will not be given on top of a grant. Oh, you can't have both. You can't have both. You're yes, either getting you the food parcels or you're getting or the, the grant. Or the grant, yes, that's how it works. And in terms of uh, foreigners, political asylum seekers, uh, how does SASA benefit them? Is, is it purely for just South Africans or do we find ourselves, you know, extending the, the, the hand and helping foreigners out? Um, we help people who are refugees. Who have got, do who have got documentation that proves that they've gone through the re uh, relevant government institutions mm. and you know they are refugees that be that here because of uh, certain problems that they're having in their countries mm. those type of people we help them uh, because they are here legally ah. it's important to to stress that they're here legally they're here. and they qualify in terms of our criteria because to be fair them. the government can't help somebody they don't know is here yes so you'd yes. have to announce yourself that i am here yes. i need help i am destitute therefore i need your help yes because if you're a, if you are a a a, a refugee mm -mm. you you are a visitor you know a visiting the government i can put it that way okay. so you've got to be looked after if you you, you qualify this is so interesting. When it comes to inflation, because earlier, Homocho, you said that, you know, as Sasa, you guys are tightening the, you know, the belts because of the way the economy is going and the fact that parliament and the government is not always going to give you guys this budget. So you have to watch where you spend your money. Mm -hmm. But then there's also a thing called inflation. Every year, mm -hmm. things get more expensive. So mm -hmm. that, that 12 kg a milli meal, mm -hmm. you know, if it was 60 rand last mm -hmm. year, this year it's going to be 70 rand. So how are you balancing that? How are you making the, the, the grants match what the country is going through economically and through inflation? Mm -hmm. we, we, only try, we can only try and match that to the extent that the budget allows us. Because you cannot spend outside the budget. But mm -hmm. the good thing is that on an annual basis, the Minister of Finance makes an announcement and there's always a guaranteed increase. Mm. Uh, in the amount of social grant okay. money that you, you are going to be eligible for. Are you I'm not going to get into trouble for that statement? There's always a guaranteed increase in the money that social grants... Well, uh, well, <laughs> well I'm using hindsight. <laughs> 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 hindsight.
hindsight and president. Hindsight, the best teacher in the world. Okay, carry on. <laughs> well, president, a, there is a president that every year, you know, we, we do have those increases. Uh. Yeah, but uh, we, we, we should be positive about where the economy is going. Yeah. Um, and, and I think that we will be able to sustain the level of increase that we've been giving our people over time. Over, over time. And, I mean, you, you get a lot of crit uh, from media. When, when things like the company that is rolling out your social grants has mentioned that, you know, the government gives them the money and then they take it and they keep it in their bank account and then they generate interest and then they make money from it and then they roll out the money like that. If there is money to be made through interest that and that interest is being made from funds from the government, shouldn't we be keeping that internal? I don't know if you're if you are allowed to be answering these questions. Like, shouldn't that be a South African company or a government, you know, department that is generating interest from that money so that we can pay more money to social grants as opposed to allowing a cps to generate interest and then take the money overseas let's talk about this interest on a monthly basis we mm. pay people on the first of every month mm. so about three days before the first of the month we pay money into the cps account yes and then on the first of every month going forward up to the 15th cps will be paying uh, our social grant beneficiaries during that month, somebody can die, and their money will not be paid, mm. and that's where some of the interest, you know, accrues. Okay. You see, uh, some of the money, some of the money, find that a person does not throw it on the first; they throw it on the fifteenth. That interest accrues as well. Yes, but the good thing is that all that interest is returned to Sasa. It does come back to Sasa at a, at a certain stage, so oh. we, we are well aware of that. So it's not true that this money is taken by this company. Uh, wherever it takes I was that money does. feelings. Yeah. No, 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 no. We've got accountants in <laughs> Sasa. We've got accountants in Treasury. They are on their toes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for joining us. Basically, you guys know what you are doing. No, no. So far, so good. Yeah, I think we, we, we've been doing very well. Very well. Yeah. And uh, we're looking forward to taking over this responsibility ourselves. Okay. Look, you're getting a thumbs up from our side. Thank you so much for sharing everything with us. Yo, so many rumors that have been discarded out here. Uh, that's all we have time for today. Thank you so much to my guests, Vyogazi Fuchana, Homo Chotiseko, as well as Rendani Moraga for coming through and enlightening us about social grants, welfare, and as well as Sasa. Join me again tomorrow. Amanda Black will be in the house, as well as Leanne Lamy. I cannot wait. Do not miss out right here on SABC3. Good night. Well, good evening and a good night. You know what I'm saying.